Let's move into a little bit of other MCU stuff here to talk about, shall we? You know, Rob, when Disney took over Fox and the announcement came out in that they were going to take over Fox, a lot of people, understandably so, kind of initially thought in the next six months, we're going to get X-Men movies and we're going to get Fantastic Four movies. And Kevin Feige came out and said, listen, guys, I've got a roadmap for five years. Now, this is a few years ago already. They said, I've got a roadmap already for the next five years. And sure enough, right up until yesterday, no word really about X-Men or Fantastic Four or anything about that. But finally it happened. Kevin Feige actually said to the audience, guys, the first family of Marvel is coming home. Fantastic Four. They gave no information on it. I know a lot of people were hoping to hear John Krasinski and Emily Blunt's name be mentioned. That didn't happen, whether it will in the future, who knows or not. And by the way, this is going to be a project that is probably, we're probably not seeing this in theaters until minimum 2023. Like I'm getting, they did, since they don't even have any information about it, no writers, no directors, no anything, but they said, but so 2023, so it's going to, Kevin Feige, what he said right off the bat, it's going to be at least five years. Looks like he was right. But Rob, they at least came out and said it. They didn't say X-Men which was interesting, but they did want to drop in there that guys, yes, rest assured, we've got our eyes on Fantastic Four. Rob, I know this was something you've been waiting for, that you've been looking forward to. Number one, what was your reaction to seeing Kevin Feige on camera acknowledging they are in the development of a Fantastic Four movie? And what are your expectations of, of where something like this, and how important is this to not just Fantastic Four, but to Marvel as a whole? Well, you know, the Fantastic Four is the first family of Marvel, and they're, they're cornerstone characters that I don't think have ever been very well served. There's been, what, four Fantastic Four movies, if you go back to Corman's, and they oh. haven't quite got them right. And I think now with obviously Spider-Man has been so deftly handled. And I think if you do get Emily Blunt, John Krasinski, uh, I think that casting is so winning. And I think now with the we, with the quantum realm and, and everything, and they haven't touched on Galactus, and th they've got Kang the Conqueror being introduced in the next Ant-Man movie. And I, I, I just think the time is now and the place is the MCU as it exists to realize these characters for the first time on screen the way they're supposed to be realized. And I've never had more confidence in, in something as I do with the introduction of the Fantastic Four into the MCU. And I think it's going to be, well, fantastic. And, you know, I, I think for good reason, nobody ever gave us any information. A lot of us just kind of speculate, you know, who would be a great director for this is Peyton Reed who was doing Ant-Man. And then when they said Kang was going to be coming in to uh, Ant-Man 2, then that really kind of heightened that. But instead, for a director, they've made a choice I wasn't expecting, but you know what? A choice that I think is going to work. They went with John Watt, the, uh, the director of yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, which I thought, you know, again, if you had asked me to give you five names of who I think they're going to announce to direct Fantastic Four, his wouldn't have been one of the names that I would have picked. But then once they said his name, I'm like, you know what? When you think about the structure and the DNA and the texture of those Spider-Man movies, that dude who did that, which most people, it's crazy how successful those two movies have been. And most people don't even know who directed either of them. But when I thought about it after they said his name, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I think this can work. Rob, what do you think about uh, what do you think about the director choice for this? Uh, I think it's I think it's terrific. I mean, it's you know what? It's the it's the character interaction and the vibe that he brought to Spider Man, and the the fact that there it's the closest thing to a family franchise that we've seen really in the Marvel universe. That and Ant Man, and I think that um, you know if you're not going to go with Peyton Reed. Payne Reed's busy. He's doing quantum mania or whatever it's called. Yeah, and, multiverse uh, mania or something like and, that. Yeah. And uh, I think that um, I, I, I'm excited. I, I think absolutely it's the way to go. I think that he's got the right tone. I think it's going to work. Yeah, I agree. So question is, guys, 
What do you think about this announcement of Fantastic Four? Maybe you're just like over Fantastic Four because of, you know, haven't really loved all the big screen adaptations we've had so far. Maybe that has just made you even more excited to see it in the hands of Kevin Feige and the folks at Marvel. What do you think about the director choice? Jump on down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.